Hi, Ilona here. So I got lots of good advice about this uh, orchid, my poor Paphopelium, uh, that had like mm, umpteen dozen uh, mealybugs, and I was advised to repot it because chances are, if there are lots of mealybugs around here, they're in the in the media as well. So I've decided to do that. I don't want to lose it. I like it. So this is what I'm going to do. So here's the pot it was in. I've got the moss. I'm going to do it all in moss. I like moss. I'm going to use the moss. And um, I've got here the magnifying glass to see if I can uh, see more mealybugs. So now I'm going to take it out of the pot. So I've taken it out of the pot and the roots look okay, but what the heck is this? That looks like some kind of, I don't know, mold or something on the roots. So perhaps it was good. Maybe the mealy bugs were a, a good thing to have because otherwise I would have never taken, never repotted it, repotted it. So now what I'm going to do, it looks pretty good. I can't really see any mealy bugs now because that's, well, there's some white deposits here, I think dead mealy bugs. So I'm gonna wash this all off and then I'm gonna spray it. Look at this mold here, wow, on these poor roots. So, the mealy bugs turn out to be a blessing in disguise. So right now I'm gonna take it and wash it off. Then I'll get back to you. So while this plant is soaking in that alcohol water and soap mixture, I'm going to, I put bleach in the water here, and I'm gonna sterilize the uh, pot, because I'm gonna use the same pot. And um, I'm going to put it in moss, and then I'll squeeze out the moss and, and get it ready. When I get that all done, and it's time to repot, um, I'll come back to you. So, excuse me for a sec. So I've rinsed it all off. It's been sitting there. And the roots do, you know, they're not bad. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I've rinsed it. I'm gonna let it kind of sit upside down on some newspaper for about 10 minutes so the water can drip off. You can see here. There's, I can't see a thing now. A, yeah. Anyway, okay. So I'm gonna get some uh, some more newspaper and uh, let it sit. So I've got it sitting here on uh, newspaper to let it drip off, so there's nothing caught in the crevices, and that can dry. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll let it sit for half an hour. I'll put the timer on, and and then come back to it. It'll give me a chance to clean up the mess. Okay. It's dried enough now. I just had to cut one root off. Surprisingly, the roots are really good. And I'm hoping that a mixture of alcohol and water and dish soap that I soaked it in and rinsed it off. And also the Listerine here, this one here, that I uh, soaked it in or sprayed on it and rinsed it off isn't doing too much damage to, to the roots. I, Unfortunately, I don't have any hydrogen peroxide. That would have been ideal. But anyway, so now I'm going to pot it in here. And I'm going to pot it in uh, moss. And I'm just going to put the, the long um, long strand New Zealand, mo New Zealand moss. I'm going to put it in. There's lots of air holes here. So I'm okay. I've been doing that lately. And I think I'm having good luck. But I mean, that's in my kitchen where it's, uh, you know, it's the kitchen temperatures. It's a little bit warm and dry and so I think that um, I think this is going to work out okay I'm just going to put it in like this and gently oh you can see the roots are roots are lots of nice roots I'm going to uh, wind the roots around a bit and um, then pot it and then come back okay so I've finished um, putting the moss in really lightly I didn't pack it really lightly and um, since this particular plant, the Philia, not, um, sorry, Pathopedium, they enjoy staying damp. I think I'm okay having it all, um, having it all in the moss, but we'll soon see. I want to try it. So with those nice roots, and I'm hoping that, you know, It'll be okay, and then I'll just put it into 
I've washed this out. I've washed everything out of the bleach, the pot that I repotted it in, and this um, the decorative pot I've put it in. And I'm going to set it um, away. I just I'm going to put it in the dining room and the dining room table where it doesn't get tons of light for just a, a while until it gets over the shock of uh, being repotted, and then I'm going to put it back into the the east window where it. Uh, where it sits, but it's looking, looking not bad. I didn't see any mealy bugs or anything like that, but I'll have, I'll, I'll, of course now I'm worried about the roots. Did all that, all that I did, did it really damage it? But I, I didn't have any, um, any uh, hydrogen peroxide, so, but I washed the roots off really well, so we'll see. Anyhow, that's it, big experiment, but I have to be grateful. I can't believe I'm saying this. I have to be grateful for the mealy bugs, but I because I would have never repotted it. It looks, you know. Although I must say it was getting a little. Maybe that's why it was getting a little bit peaked looking. It wasn't the mealy bugs, but it was the roots. Well, maybe it was both. But the roots weren't that bad. Like I only had to cut one root off. So I guess I was just lucky. Well, thank you very much for those of you who told me that I should repot because uh, with that advice, I wouldn't have. I would have just kept looking for mealy bugs and dealing with them, but repotting is a good idea. And now, as you saw, I repotted with all moss. Now, it may not be for you. I'm just trying it. Uh, given that this um, pathopedium likes moisture and my kitchen is dry and warm and dry, so who knows, I'll have to keep my eye out and see, and then I'm gonna water it from the bottom so that the moss soaks up the moisture from the bottom. And every once in a while, I'll have to um, water it from the top to get rid of the, you know, all the stuff from the water, because I'm just using city water, so there's salts in there. But at my um, uh, orchid society meeting, there's a gentleman that's been growing orchids for 40 years, and he grows everything. And sphagnum moss so you know that gave me courage and uh, we'll see so thanks for watching I'll keep you posted on what's happening with this so bye for now